Hi, my name is Christian Isabel, Senior Technical Support Specialist here at Expo. Welcome back to this series of videos on automation using Expo equipment. If you want to see the previous videos in this series, please follow the link on the screen or consult the description of the video to get the link. In this video, we will demonstrate the different hardware connections you can establish with Expo platforms and the various configurations associated with each type of connection. For this demonstration, we will use the Expo LTB8 rack mount platform. This platform is equipped with Ethernet ports, USB ports and a serial port. As you can see, the LTB8 unit has been powered up and is ready to operate. Historically, GPIB or General Purpose Interface Bus has been used to do automation in test benches. Today, more and more companies are using the Ethernet port to do automation. The first reason for this migration on the technical side is the cost of the interface, which is virtually free since every PC is now equipped with an Ethernet port. The second reason for this migration is the communication speeds. The commonly available data throughput of an Ethernet port is now 1 gigabit per second, which is much higher than what the GPIB port can offer. Third reason is that you are not limited by the number of devices you can connect to the controller, thanks to the flexible Ethernet topology. So the first step in our demonstration is going to be the physical connection of the Ethernet cable to any Ethernet port. We will use the Ethernet port at the back of the unit, specifically the one showing a wrench key icon. The other end of the cable could be linked directly to a computer or a workstation. No need to have a crossover cable since the port is taking care of directionality automatically. The other option would be to link the platform to the corporate network. Make sure to follow the company policies while linking to any secured network. The equipment will automatically assign an IP address to the platform. This IP address can be gathered on the small screen of the front of the LTB8 unit. The other possibility to get the IP address is to use the command prompt tool ipconfig. The next step is going to activate automation on the LTB8. To do this, start the Instrument Control Configuration tool by going to the System Settings menu on the right. By default, automation is not activated on the LTB8. You will need to change the settings in order to activate automation. Press the Change Settings link at the bottom of the screen and acknowledge the warning box. Click on the Allow Automation on Instrument checkbox. Select TCP IP radio button and OK on the dialog box. The next step is to make sure the modules in your platform allow automation and have the proper settings. To do so, start the remote control configuration tool located at the same system settings menu. In this sample, we have conveniently installed multiple optical instruments in the LTB8 platform. The instruments are also named modules because they can be removed from the platform. When looking at remote control configuration main page, we can see the available instruments and their settings. To change the current configuration, you need to press the Change Settings link at the top right of the screen and acknowledge the warning box. Select one of the instruments and make sure that the remote control is enabled for that instrument. Take note of the LINS number, which stands for Logical Instrument, because we will need this number later in the automation sequence. Since we are using TCP IP communication, we need to make sure both the LTB8 and controlling workstation are on the same network. To do so, go on the workstation and start a command prompt. Type ipconfig to get the current workstation IP address and subnet mask. If the subnet masks are not matching, you will need to make adjustments on either the workstation or the LTB8 IP configuration. For this demonstration, we are using fixed IP addresses. Consult with your IT department for advanced IP settings. We are now ready to send and receive commands over the selected hardware link. This will be the subject of our next video. For advanced configuration topics, like DCOM configuration, please consult the user guides from our selected platform. The user guides are available at expo.com under the products menu. See you soon.